DBHS, Defensive Back High School. That is one of the many monikers that the Trinity Christian Conquerors have coined over the course of their championship running seasons. 2020 will be no different as two more stars are heading to D1 schools. I mean, we're we the best duo in the country. We've been at this for, for a long time now. Opposing offenses have to pick their poison when throwing the ball against Trinity Christian. Fred Davis and Miles Brooks locked down their respective sides of the field. Both four-star recruits heading to play Division I football following next season. Davis is heading to Clemson, while Brooks will be attending Georgia Tech. Basically, you just got to work harder than everybody else. That's, that's the main goal, and just listen to the coaches. You got to listen, because if you don't, it, it is not going to work out. You got to have that swag. Every DB that came through here had, had a certain swag to themselves, and that's what you got to have to play DB here. And the defensive backs that came through the Conquerors program are great paths to follow. Tyreek Johnson left the program as an All-American en route to his commitment to the Ohio State Buckeyes. Johnson followed the footsteps of Sean Wade, a five-star defensive back that helped the Conquerors win consecutive state titles. And of course, we can't forget about Kevin Tolliver. The former LSU Tiger is now in the early stages of his NFL career with the Chicago Bears. They paved one heck of a path, but also skyrocketed expectations for the program in the process. I mean, we know we got to live up to the expectation, but it's not too much pressure. You know, with our coaching staff, we know they can prepare us to be like Sean and Tyreek and Kevin Tolliver. So, I mean, it's always in the back of our heads. And they are reminded regularly on how to uphold the standard. We in, we in like, a, like a group chat, you know, with, with all Sean, them. just all of them. And then they be giving us tips, you know. And then when we don't do as we supposed to do, you know, they get on us. But and then the coaches will call them, like, you know, talk to them, give them some tips. Trinity Christian has one of the toughest schedules that we've seen in our area coming up next fall, including facing off against three of the top schools in South Florida. But the talented tandem, well, they're not worried. It's business as usual. It's against a blessing to have the schedule that we have. Uh, nobody around the area has ever done this before, so we're looking up to the competition. Uh, we know a lot of guys that play on those other teams, so it'll be great competing, and hopefully we can come out on top. So our biggest key is to work harder than everybody else and just stay like level-headed. We're going to be straight, we're not worried. And it's not just the defensive side of the ball. Like most of the Trinity Stars before Fred and Miles, there'll be offensive weapons this upcoming season. In the studio, Marcel Robinson, Action Sports Jacks.